Hello everyone, my name is Lachara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2 Legendary Let's Play, episode 32. Uh, making Zombie Horde Survival 3, currently in the summer slump, so all my sales are down. You can see it in my console sales here. First thing I want to do today, though, is somebody pointed out in the comments, I put a sound person in the <laughs> game testing training room for some reason. Why? Why I did that? I don't know. Uh, so let's put them in the sound studio. I don't have... I don't have a training room for sound right now, and I thought I did, but it's for game testing. This one will be for sound, but there's nobody in there yet. Uh, so yeah, that was that was a mistake. So this game's you know about half done, working on the marketing. Um, my research team's currently in training because there is nothing to research except for hardware that I don't need, hardware that I'll never use. Uh, we, my console team, is working on durability for the Lucera Goblin Pro. And my secondary development team is working on the movie engine. That will be for an interactive movie, which uh, will be the next game I make because it is completely unsaturated, right? There are no interactive movie games out right now because it's new. It's a relatively new genre. And let's go with a large booth at the Mad Games convention. And which games do we want to hype up here? All right, well, what... We don't want to like like Puzzler. We don't want to bother with Puzzler because it's almost off the market. Same with Puzzler the Dragon's Great Grandson, which ew, lost $2 million. Bo Jackson Experience. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Psychomania Drift. No. Alien Boxing 93. Uh, what about, yeah, the Alien Boxing add on maybe? It's at 71. Hype. And Dragon Fantasy. Lucha's Quest. Get that hyped up. And then my two consoles, which do need the hype. I've been kind of slacking on that. I generally speaking like to hype them up if they get under 80. Wheel supports. We have something to research now. That is, uh, is that a console feature? No, that's a game feature. All right, so let's grab my researchers out of training. Put them back in there. They can do that. That'll be good. Um... Wheel, wheel support only works probably for racing and maybe simulation. Probably not really anything else. All right, let's do a pre-release for the press. Possibly, probably overhype. Oh, nope, nope, 60 to 80. I mean, there's a lot of bugs and stuff, but I'm going to hold off on the overhype for now. Although I guess there's a lot of graphics work to be done, sound work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on the overhype for now think um so these consoles yeah i don't need to hype them now you can see the little boost in their sales because of the extra hype too right so if i don't want to overhype yet let's do a demo here and it may end up overhyping but this number needs to get a lot higher and again there's still work to be done there's a lot of bugs to get out so and maybe it will get higher right um what type of game is this Keyboard support. Oh, we, we cut features. So wheel support doesn't matter. But even if it did, I can't add it. <laughs> well, they're still working on this engine. So there's no point in putting this game out until that engine is done anyway. But yeah, we're still we're still squashing bugs. Scrapping the sound teams are still working. So, I mean, it's not going to come out anyway. Big Fancy 7. Let's do a demo. Get that up close to 100 hype, hopefully. All right, oh, 80 to 100. Okay. So that means we can overhype. Where are you at? Create overhype. I mean, we're waiting for this engine to be done anyway. I mean, I could put like an add on out while I waited for the engine. Oh, we got new copy protection. Let's put this new copy protection in. Buy copy protection. ATC protect 3.0. There we go. Sorry, pirates. This game is not for you. All right. Employee search, sound artist, skilled worker, inexhaustible, doesn't take breaks, automatic repeat. Let's go. Um, am I waiting? I, there. I was waiting for that engine to be done. And now it's done. So we can finish development. Self-distribution, of course. I'm going to say mid-90s, like 94-ish for this game. First time using the modern 3D vector graphics. And look at that. Nailed it. 94%. I'm pretty good at predicting those. 
I mean, I'm not perfect, but I'm pretty good. All right, new. Or do we want to do a spinoff? Um, well, Alien Invasion is pretty neglected. We could do an, an Alien Invasion interactive movie. Oh, what works with the interactive movie? I don't have my guide up. Give me a second while I bring my guide up. That's on me. That is my bad. Um, interactive movie. Where are you at on the list here? Skill, puzzle, adventure, and visual novel. Well, we don't have visual novel yet. But we can do adventure? Question mark? Yeah. So it'll be interactive movie, adventure. And we'll call this alien invasion adventure. <laughs> and definitely not size B. We'll go size A for now. Target group will be adults. I think, yes. Teenagers, adults, and seniors all work. Okay, so space and aliens. Yeah, we'll stick with the space and the aliens. We do not have, obviously, a license that uses interactive movie, since this is our first one. And there is one out there. The Sky Knight Room. Four stars, five games for three and a half million. That seems like relatively good value, I think. We're going to go with it. And movie engine. Ooh, do I want to do... Well, we just did. I just did a uh, manufacturer exclusive, so we won't do exclusive here. We will include our consoles, obviously, though. Perfect. So this is our first time using the Advanced 60 Mid Sound, second time using the modern 3D vector graphics. So that's going to negatively affect the scores. Speaking of, these sliders are all wrong. We'll see 4262. So not a lot of length, definitely not a lot of depth. A little bit of beginner friendliness, not a lot of innovation. Story, on the other hand, character design, 10 and 9, very important. Level of mission design, not terribly important. Gear, a little more casual, a little explicit. I'm surprised it's that explicit. It's, I mean, it's fine. And then we want 10 for gameplay, 50 for graphics, 30 for sound, 10 tech points so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take five off each of these put them on tech but tech's not very important here so i should actually be able to make a decent interactive movie right because the tech points aren't important but oh 19 of 30 so if i wanted i could make this a b plus size game and uh i'm gonna i'm going to so this is a nice cheap development <laughs> um Scenes are in here though, right? Yes. So yeah, all not very many features though, so we'll see how good this is. <laughs> Might not be very good. Definitely gonna go all out on the graphics though, right? It's very important. Sound was what 30%, somewhat important. Gameplay wasn't terribly important. So let's take that save a hundred thousand dollars. And I know it's like Hundred thousand dollars isn't a lot, and it isn't. But let's do a free update for Dragon Fantasy Seven. Oh my God, it's one point four million. Let's do a free update. Maybe that was a bad idea. It's not. It's not selling all that well. Oh well. I've I've done it now. All right, there is a good sound person. So let's put them in there and get started on the training. Automatically repeat. Music and sound. Uh, unlucky. Eh, we'll, we'll go with it. It's not the best. I probably should have said no, but I didn't. Puzzle of the Dragon 8 off the market. Made $8 million. That's pretty good. Puzzle of the Dragon's Great Great Grandson 4. I added an extra great there. Anyway, lost $2 million. It was an exclusive. We did sell some consoles, so. And I do believe there might have been some, like, IP fatigue there. Releasing two Puzzler games back to back. May have hurt me. And maybe fatigue isn't the right word for it, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. All right, so we got four sound people in there now. So let's do a little marketing. Because this uh, has pretty low hype. Mostly because it's a spinoff. Spinoffs uh, don't get as much hype built in as direct sequels do, which makes sense, right? That tracks, in my opinion. We are going to market this up to 100 hype, though. So boom, boom. That's an extra million dollars. That's okay. Alien Invasion Adventure. 
34 extra gameplay because of a spontane spontaneous brainstorming session with my staff. Good ideas were born. The developers immediately got to work and implemented some of these ideas. Perfect. No research to be done. Let's do a free update for Zombie Horde Survival. 500,000 for that. That's a little more palatable. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to see some bigger sales. Well, Dragon Fantasy 7 just had a nice spike. Oh, I guess the su summer slump ended and then we did the update for it. Wait, only 60 to 80? That's, that's terrible. <laughs> Why is that so low? Okay, 70 to 90. But yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, somebody had licensed the Unreal Engine. That's cool. Thank you for that, whoever that was. Very much appreciated. <laughs> um, so, special marketing. Alien Invasion Adventure. I mean, I guess it is my first interactive movie. And a couple of the things we weren't real good at, right? Like the engine features. So I'm going to say 83, maybe 84%. It's my prediction here. Let's reduce the price a bit. Because it's not a very big game. Yeah. Having zero stars hurts. It might still sell okay. Yeah, 84. I mean, it's not bad. It's still a hit. Right? I'm, I'm sitting here acting like 84 is terrible. When that's not the case. Right? 84 is not terrible. But, you know, I do like the fact that this game wasn't super expensive. Because it allowed me to get a star in those things without spending a ton. So I'm going to do a paid add-on for it. Even though I know it's not a great game, probably not going to... It might make money because just because it costs so little to make and the genre that it's in is relatively unsaturated. But anyway, I'm going to do an add-on because I want to try to get an extra star in the things we just got to star in. There's three things. So, I mean, if I get one, I'm satisfied. If I get zero, I'm going to be a little upset. <laughs> but if I get two... I'm very happy. So Alien Invasion Adventure. Um, space Station Blues. Because, you know, being stuck on a space station, you kind of get some, like a little bit of cabin fever, right? And actually, I'm going to move gameplay down and move graphics up. I think that's smart. Because graphics is very important. And we did get an achievement for that. So call that a win as well. All right, so let's hype up this add-on. No, not TV, radio. Radio, Looch. <laughs> and we'll polish. That's with the graphics team. Definitely want to polish with them. And we'll bug fix. All right. Um, my console team doesn't really have anything to do, so they're just going to sit there and do commissions as they come in. Now, what I could do, alternatively is I could get them to do, I could put them in training, right? If there's 28 people, I would need an awfully big training room, or I could make a smaller training room and just take like seven at a time, right, to train, and leave the rest of them back to do commission work. Um, maybe that's, yeah, maybe that's the play. All right, so do we still have a building game on the market? I don't. So I could do another building game. So let's update that engine. I think is probably the play. The build engine, get those modern 3D vector graphics, the advanced 16 bit sound. That'll be good. Okay. So that shouldn't take too long. By the time the add on's done, that'll be ready. Uh, let's do one TV spot for this game, just one. That'll be okay. Uh, a couple handhelds have become available. So that's going to chew into my market uh, <laughs> market dominance, market strength, whatever the word is. That's totally eluding me right now. Um, I'm going to continue development until the hype, until the marketing is done. All right, so the engine is ready. They got lots of commission work here. Let's get them to do that. All right, so new research room, or not research, sorry, training room. Doesn't need to be very big. That's plenty. 
And I'm going to furnish this myself. So I'm going to stop being lazy <laughs> for a change. And I just need, what, seven desks, I said, in here. Because 28, right? I have 28 people. So if we do seven at a time, it would be four groups of seven. Just kind of makes sense in my mind. This little whiteboard on the wall there. Give them a trash can. And a medicine cabinet. And some heat. Don't want them to be cold. Put some heat out in the halls, tier two. People are always cold when they're out in the hall now. I want my people to be comfortable now. I don't need to cheap out like I was before. <laughs> right? Water dispenser and a plant. And let's throw a goal. Let's throw a game of the year award. That's what you're training for, folks, right there. That's what it's all about. And let's put a poster on this back wall corner. There we go. And let's grab seven of them. Probably grab the worst seven. Not that there's a big difference. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Start training course. Hardware and engineering. Beautiful. All right. Uh, waiting for the marketing here. Then we will release this. It is done. Do I want to do a pre-release for the press? Yeah, let's do a pre-release for the press. Get that extra, little extra uh, review score, right? Which is nice. And they can pause while it happens, right? Just wait for the end of the week for the result. Hey, sell at least 10, con 10 million consoles in my own console. Achievement. Nice. Yeah, 60 to 80. It might be over 80. But it might only be mid-70s. Either way, I'm just looking for stars here, honestly. Give me two stars. And we got two stars, so I'm satisfied. And Epic Square is pissed I didn't develop through them, but whatever. <laughs> I honestly don't really care about that. That's pretty low on my list of things I care about right now. All right, so one thing somebody pointed out last episode. They think I could make a lot of money on these um, on these AAA contracts. So it's I would get forty million. What does it cost to make a AAA game though? Just at base, twenty four million, right out of the gate. But it would give me a chance to get some stars, right? So what are we looking at here? There's a lot of contract games here as well. Sports, um, strategy, action. Which of those are any of those up to date? Any of those engines up to date for me? Probably not. Um, let's update the action engine here. Because if we're going to do this, we want to get... We're doing this to try to get stars in this engine stuff, right? Mostly. Largely, partially at least. All right, here, um, let's look for a couple more sound artists. Here, we got some commission work we could do. Should be some commission work here. Here, how far behind am I on game reports? Yeah, a little bit, a little behind. Customer support queue is going down nicely. Uh, yeah, we'll hire you. That's the wrong room. That's the wrong room, Looch. I did it again. I got to be more diligent with putting people in the crack rooms. Are any of these people anywhere near max? We won't get close. So 100 is the max, but 90 is the max you can get from training. They can go from 90 to 100 just doing their job in their room. And one of them is getting close, although it will say max over their head if they're maxed. So yeah, we've moved, sold 10 million. Luchera 1 Pros. Where does that put us on the list? Oh, 7th and 8th. And we're soon going to be sixth. But, yeah, these top ones are going to be tough. <laughs> but I'm actually pretty satisfied with those. And most importantly, they're both profitable, right? It took a while to get there, but they're both profitable. Which is nice. And, yeah, let's just 
keep going, get this engine done, and let's try one of these contracts, see how much we can make. Um, another sound person. How many is that? Uh, actually, we also need game testers here, so let's end automation on that. Um, there's some research to do. Gameplay feature, level editor. All right, so commission work, contract game. Super shoots two. Problem is though, I need it to be at least 80% to get the money, right? <laughs> Which might be tricky. All right, what goes with action? I know RPG does for sure. Um, skill, I'm thinking skill, action, do action and skill go together? I'm pretty sure they do, right? They, they must, they must. Yeah, they do. All right, so action and skill um, for topics. Okay, so one of the topics I want to have five stars in, just for the sake of my review score, right? So we'll go space. And the second one, though, I want something. I, let's go agents. I want something I can get a star in, right? If I'm doing a contract game, I want to try to get some stars. Um, we'll go teenagers. Pendu, uh, Action Engine. Just turn on English, English only. There's our stuff we're trying to get stars in. All right, so let's put these where we know they're supposed to go. Here. Gameplay, not that important. Graphics are important. Sound is important. And tech is somewhat important as well. Let's try that. Actually, let's try, let's try that. I think that'll be good now here <laughs> we want to include everything save some money we do need an 80 percent but i'm pretty sure i could cut a couple of these lower ones probably right but again i'm not really saving much <laughs> like is it really worth saving $10,000 at this point? Not really. All right, at least one. Oh, oh, ah. Nintendo, I can't, I can't use tech level three engine features. So I guess we'll go tech level two, but this kind of defeats the purpose of doing this contract, right? Because now I can't gain stars in that. Um, well, let's see if we can make money. Just for science. Just for science here. Let's see if we can make a little bit of money. That's that's not that expensive. That's not that expensive. It's also not that important. All right, so uh, employee search, game testers. Go. Ooh, I will add a level editor once we get it. So at least I have a chance of getting a star in that. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm curious to see if this actually makes money. I think it will. I think it'll make a good chunk of money. Which is nice. This person also has the uh, talented, so they learn fast. Ooh, greedy, $8,000. Uh, pass. <laughs> I know I can be a little more fast and loose with what I pay for my workers at this point, but not that fast and loose. So research team doesn't have any research except hardware that we'll never use. So we'll put them in training. Um, untalented, learn slower. I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, doesn't take breaks. Learns faster. Gets critical work results. That is good. And I mean, yeah, 3000 is a little expensive, but I'm willing to pay 3000 for that, for sure. All right. Um, let's update sports engine as well. Although I probably shouldn't be updating engines just for the sake of updating engines. It's not good business. Ooh, AAA games take a long time to make. I did not sweep the awards this year. I won developer of the year and game of the year. 
but no publisher of the year, no best graphics, no best sound. But it's still 100,000 extra fans, a little extra hype. Speaking of hype, we're now in the holiday season. Uh, and more research that, uh, however, research that I'll never need, never want to do. All right, that's probably enough game testers for now. So let's end automation there. And we got somebody with that last one, which is always nice. And we lost some gameplay points. Not the end of the world. Gameplay is not that important anyway. Demo for Space Station Blues. Yes, please. Of course, the problem is, if this isn't 80% or better, then I'm in danger, right? Market research. What's the next trend going to be? Not that it matters. As soon as it changes, I'm just going to set the trend anyway. Uh, oh, Eco Sim, which is already the trend. Interesting. Anything else need a demo? Alien Invasion Adventure could go for a demo. How is it selling, by the way? Probably terribly. Actually, that's selling pretty well. Surprisingly well. It's selling better than most of the stuff. Dragon Fantasy 7 is pretty strong right now. But it's still 3 million in the red. All right, 70 to 90. Can I do a pre-release for the press for this? No, I can't because it's not mine. Um, 70 to 90 should be fine. It should be over 80. Should be. <laughs> I hope so. All right, well, we got to start in agents. We got to start in level editor. 86%. We did it. Yeah, 15 million. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm doing another one of those. Sports. What all goes with sports? I think action goes with sports, right? Action strategy, Sim. Yeah, let's just do action. All right, so let's learn. Uh, what's this game called? Gold Medal Glory. All right, so is Olympics a thing? I don't even know. I don't think I've ever done an Olympic game. Is track and field a thing? I don't know. Um, Olympics are not a thing. Is track and field a thing? No. <laughs> is swimming a thing? I'm just trying to think of Olympic events. Um, I don't know what to do then. I feel like they need to add more sports categories. Right? Am I crazy? Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. <laughs> any old sport will do. Like I can do basketball, which technically is an Olympic sport, I guess. Right? Basketball and archery is an Olympic sport. Uh, teenagers, sure. Personal computer, ball engine. Hopefully we get a star in those. Just turn on English. Okay, we know what we want here. And here we're going to go like 10, 25, 10, and 45. No, 50. Okay, so where do we want to put that extra point? Graphics? Sure. Turn on everything that matters. 24 million. Yeah, this should still make a, a bunch of money. And, you know multiple things we could potentially get a star in theory i mean no guarantee though these are technically my first triple a games on the other hand it's the holiday season and i'm you know i probably should have been trying to release an extra game squeeze an extra game in for the holiday season but i didn't um consoles though over a hundred thousand per week of the Goblin, or, yeah, of the Goblin and the Lechera 1. 74k per week. Nothing wrong with that, either. Oh, Jackson Experience 5 off the market. Made 3 million. We'll take it. All right. So, I don't need to... I mean, there's no point in marketing this game. Cause I'm not publishing it. I don't care how many it sells. <laughs> so, I can go back to employee searching. So, sound... Sound people, I think, would be good. Skilled, gender, I don't care about gender. Um, 
try to get some efficient people. And we'll see how much money I make off this one. I forget. I only needed the 70% review, I think, for this one, right? Yes. So I don't even care. It's that good. Oh, new graphics again? We just had new graphics. Sometimes the graphics come really fast. Like, I barely even got three stars in it. <laughs> um, It is what it is, though. All right. Okay, then. Oh, we have somebody maxed out. We got a maxed out game tester. In you go. All right, and you can go learn. Could be pretty close to having a maxed out graphic person, too, right? Oh, yeah, 88.3. Like I said, they maxed out 90. So I'm just going to move them now. Just going to move them now, or her. Looks like a her. And switch somebody else in. Hopefully my cleaning robot gets up there soon. Um, what other engines could I update? I had a plan for what type of game I was going to make next. Oh, yeah, I was going to make a building game. And I still can. But the engine's going to be out of date by the time uh, it comes around. It's kind of funny. In a sad kind of way. This is a sound person. Make sure I put them in the right rooms after I did it wrong twice. All right, so they finished that research. Uh, unlucky, though. Yeah, but inexhaustible and efficient is a, it's kind of a wombo combo, so we're going to roll with it. All right, research. Yes, a bunch of... Nope. I was going to say a bunch of hardware we'll never use. We will use this fan. So tech level 4 hardware stuff is going to start uh, sneaking in here. Greedy, pass. And all right, so let's update this engine again. <laughs> Get the even better graphics. 400 points. Yeah, that's better. And I mean, it gets better every time you get a star in it as well, right? All right, gold medal glory, 60 to 80. Um, now let's get the bugs out at least. We don't want to ship a buggy product. We have a reputation to uphold, right? To some degree. All right, we're bug free. Hand over the game well above what we needed and look at that star 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 of course we don't really care about the star in the graphics because we're never going to use it because we have the better one already right and that's okay that's fine 82 percent. we only needed the 70 14 million in profit that's what we like to see all right develop a game sequel where's my building game dungeon builder dungeon builder 2 does dungeons even work for this? Yes. Does orcs work with this? Yes. Okay. Still, it's a lot of things we don't have stars in. Um, license. Harry Potter and the Lively Hollows. Uh, build engine. Let's go exclusive. Whoops. Let's go manufacture exclusive. I mean... Turn on all the languages. And everything looks good there, I believe. My God, not a lot of. What if I try something other than EcoSim? What goes with building? There is building in this guide. <laughs> Real time strategy, strategy, EcoSim. All right, so let's try strategy instead so we will need to change the sliders uh construction or the guide calls it construction instead of building i'm assuming that's a translation thing nine ten one seven all right so pretty similar and then one one five six so yeah pretty similar sliders and three five five Ooh, these ones are kind of different though three five five these ones will be the same all right all right, so yes, now we're including way more features. So this will need to be size A. I will cut one feature to get it under the A cap, and it's going to be password saves, of course. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could cut keyboard support as well. I'm going to cut them both. And you're like, but then you're one under, which, well, what if a new feature gets researched? Or and if I make an, I'm probably going to make an add-on for this 
in an attempt to get more stars. Right? So, yeah, I think, and I mean, cutting those features doesn't really hurt it. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so TV spot and high quality graphics, high quality sounds, and of course, we're going to improve the gameplay. And over here, let's do a free update for the paid update. Free update for the paid update. That makes sense, right? And I just realized I've been recording for 35 minutes, so I'm going to stop now. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Consider supporting me on Patreon. I couldn't do this without my patrons. Shout out to them. Links in the description down below to that. You can also find a link to my Discord. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.